Ever thought of validating an elemental form field entry and did not know how to do it? In this video, we'll show you how you can use this to prevent unwanted data from being submitted to elemental forms. Ready? Let's go. First off, we'll come into glue. Then, we'll toggle on forms extensions. Now, we can click on settings. And then you can toggle on form field validation. Let's come into the elementary editor and see how it works. Now we'll add a new item. This type is email and we'll say the label is email and the placeholder is email. Now we have a new field in the advanced tab that is called regex. In other words, regular expression. It makes use of the pregmatch function of PHP. In other words, it performs a regular expression match. And that simply means that you can add a string of characters saying if a person submits this form and it does not have this particular value or set of characters then reject it if it does allow the data to pass now let's add an example of a person who intends to allow only gmail addresses to be submitted via this email field so we can add a forward slash we'll type in the word gmail and then we'll close it with a forward slash as easy as that but this will match only Gmail as a set of small characters. If you want any combination of whether small or big characters, you can add an I after this. Now, the next field is an error label. If this does not match, what do you want to return to the user? So error label, let's say enter a valid Gmail address. Let's close this out. Let's hit update. Let's come back to the front end. Let's refresh this so we can fetch the latest value of this form. And now the name, hue, message, subscribe to our channel and the email address, let's say you at me.com. Hit send, enter a valid Gmail address. Now you can add a Gmail address, you at gmail.com. Let's hit send. The form was sent successfully. Of course, this is not the only type of regular expression match that is possible. We'll leave a link in the video description that takes you to the PHP reference guide in which you can find all of the regular expression matches you can use within this form field. Tell us in the comment section below what you can use this for and we'll be glad to see what brilliant things you come up with. Give us a thumbs up if you like this, subscribe and you'll be the first to see the next video. Bye for now.